Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy Nuts, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Destiny 2 Adventure Time. For the first time in this series, we're on Nessus. We're actually right next to the Exodus Black, which is the uh, lovely space station you can see over there. It's also the home of uh, Failsafe, the charismatic, uh, well, faction leader on this planet. Uh, today we're gonna do our first little adventure over here and it is called Exodus Siege. The Fallen prepare to attack Failsafe's mainframe aboard the Exodus Black. Guardian, there's a cloaked Fallen in your vicinity. Neutralize it. We need to confirm a theory. Confirm a theory, says Zavala. That is interesting. Collect the scout's reports. Okay, I just think I just saw him over there. It's not really hidden at the moment. I'm gonna show you my gear in a second. Scouts report. Something on the body. These are coordinates to the Exodus Black. Indeed. We have reports that the Fallen plan to destroy Failsafe's mainframe and scrap it for parts. Not on our watch. We're on our way, Failsafe. Wait, why would... Thank you very much. Continued existence is one of my prime directives. It was the Cade unit who led the Fallen to me. He totally blew my cover. All of this is his fault. That is, why would they need coordinates for this giant, big-ass spaceship? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I'm gonna show you my gear in a second, because I don't have a lot of time, apparently, because I need to kill everybody. So, uh, let's get cracking. There we go, sticky in the face. So, the automatic uh, scout rifle I'm using at the moment is from the Iron Banner, as well as most of the gear I'm actually using at the moment. Uh, what do I need to... Bombs destroyed. Okay, that's a bomb, apparently. Kind of looks like everything else the Fallen has been using, but... Let's get into position right in front of the entrance here. Oh, it is impenetrable on this side. Which means I'm going to have to... Shoot at it from over here. Okay, if I don't just fall off like an idiot. There we go. Oh, they, they can replace bombs. Uh, that might explode in your face. Sorry for that. Let's just kill that off. So they can actually put down bombs, which is... And the bombs have shields for some reason. There we Zavala, go. I'm picking up a fallen signal from a nearby cave. I think that's where they're getting their orders. How about we take out the leadership? That's how you ended the House of Wolves. That's how you folded the Red Legion. Do what you have to. Do what you have to? Well, I'm gonna have to show everybody my gear, because I kind of look like a monster right now. Um, kind of have this, this very awesome but creepy mask which causes an explosion when I put up my shield. So this actually generates a small explosion when I put it down. Uh, let me show you. So the helmet, Capri's horn, solar damage kills, recharge your barricade which unleashes a blast of solar energy when summoned. The rest is, uh, there's a few iron banner pieces like I'm really proud of my new gauntlets which are just magic wolves. Look at those things. Look at those fancy wolves on the shoulders. Then Vigilance Wing, a uh, five round burst pulse rifle, which uh, causes me to heal when one of my allies die. I uh, don't really need it at the moment. Maybe I'm gonna actually swap that out for Sweet Business, which is a minigun. Then Frostmire's Hex, which is the scout rifle you've seen in action right now. And then uh, Show of Force, a sniper rifle, which I might use once or twice. Got a few new things because of uh, me playing Iron Banner. I thought they were gonna go for the Lost Sector over here inside of the wall because there's a there's a cave over here as well, but they don't seem to point me in that direction. So right over here, there's a cave entrance, which you can actually go into and kill a few uh, fallen as well and get a bit of loot. But that's not where we're headed apparently. So let's go to the cave on the ground there. Yeah, most of the caves are on the ground, but this one over here, specifically. Okay, Shanks. I think there's always Shanks over here. Okay, kind of gave me a boost there, that explosion. I think that was my, uh, my sparrow exploding. 
Follow the fallen signal. Okay, those are facts. Okay. So yeah, sweet business kind of takes care of that. I kind of have a buddy with me right now. It seems like the fallen signal is going through a teleporter. And that guy is still following me. I don't mind really, but it's kind of weird. Because there's nothing really here aside from the quest, unless he's doing the exact same adventure as I am. I... Whoa. Wow. wow is not a helpful term on the battlefield, Ghost. So the fallen signal is coming from behind a massive barrier powered by Vextech. Looks like they've stolen themselves a toy. So the shield is Vex technology, but I've seen Fallen use those types of shield before. Uh, I'm guessing I have to kill everything before I do anything else. Seems to be doable at the moment. And over here, and then I think I'm just gonna go fully ballistic on this thing. Because the, the fire rate on this thing is uh, ridiculous. There we go. So sniper up top is really annoying the hell out of me. I'm actually gonna try out that explosion. Didn't really do anything, but maybe it's forward facing. That might be a solution. Yeah, bye. Oh, arc charge. Probably need to dump that into the generator or something, because we kind of did this in one of the earlier adventures as well. So let's just dump that over here. Oh, let's reload, because there's like a lot of enemies around the shield here. Oh god, that's not a good time to start. Whew. To have my uh, ammo run out. Ooh, there we go. I do love sweet business. It's a simple thing. It's one of the first uh, new exotics they uh, announced. For the game, for Destiny 2. That wasn't in Destiny 1 already. Let's just go all in. I mean, come on. And then let's pick up the arc charge while we're still supered. And just dump that in there. And then, yeah, probably the other server dropped an arc charge as well. I do hope I can still pick that up because... They tend to disappear. Okay. And next shield down. Now let's see who's been sending these fallen to kill Failsafe and kill them back. A fallen commander. Oh, let's just kill his servitors because he's right over here. Kinda. Whew. That shield got there in time. Let's just reload this thing. And shred this guy to pieces. Ooh, I'm gonna have to stand behind the shield for a second there. I have the feeling my shield is failing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to drop down for a second because I am about to die. They got the servitors because they, of course, can still boost Fallen if they want to. There we go. I think there was one more over here yeah the snipers I really want to take out those guys because that's really heavy damage okay there we go so he is burning so if I can get higher ground okay he just hit me in the wall there can just snipe his ass there we go. Face 
Oh. All right. I think we've got this taken care of. And that fallen crew won't be bothering you anymore, they'll say. Good work. All of you. Hmm. You have my thanks, friendly ghost. Captain, you are clearly optimized to solve problems created by the Cade unit. That must be one of your designated day-to-day -day functions. I think she was talking to Zavala there, because... Oh, new milestone added. How the... Ah, okay, clan XP chests. <laughs> that, was, that was silly, because it's the first time this week I've played. New milestone added, yeah. Yeah, okay, let's ignore that. And let's go back into the portal. That puts us back... Oh, it just puts us back at the end of the area, not back at the beginning of the... That is stupid, but yeah... Clean and simple, just take out a few uh, fallen behind those fancy shields, those were nice. But uh, aside from that, nothing really new. So yeah, um, that's it for this episode, if, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked this episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're going to do another adventure right here on Nessus. See you guys next time. Goodbye!